Hello and welcome to Paper Bridges, an introduction to civil engineering and bridge building for primary school children from P4 to P7. My name is Dr Mark Taylor and I'm a university lecturer in civil engineering. So, what is civil engineering? Well, a good place to start is the Institution of Civil Engineers website. They define civil engineering as the roads, railways, water and power supply infrastructure that we as civilians rely upon. The institution website has lots of interesting detail about the profession and will help you understand the industry and the work that civil engineers undertake. So first we're going to learn a little bit about materials and in particular what happens when we put a material into tension or compression. If we take an object, say the grey object is a steel tube in this picture here, and we squeeze it or compress it, the forces are acting inwards as per the arrows. If we then put this object into tension, we are trying to pull it apart. And you will notice that the arrows are pointing in the other direction. So how strong is a piece of A4 paper in compression and tension? Well, let's find out. So let's start by putting the paper into compression. You can all try this in your groups. If you hold each edge and then push your hands together, it just folds. If you then put it into tension and try and pull it apart, it's a bit stronger, but it will eventually tear. So if we take a piece of A4 paper and roll it into a tube, the structural properties of the paper change. And this is what happens to steel when they change the shape and roll it into tubular sections. So this is the equipment you're going to need, a hole punch, nuts and bolts, masking tape, plastic dowels for rolling the tubes, A4 paper, A3 paper, a ruler, pencil and scissors. Here you can see all the equipment laid out ready to start. Remember to keep your workstation clean and keep all the tools in the right place. Here you can see the drawing of the bridge. In this case, we're going to just build one side of the bridge. The red lines indicate the sections of the members, and these are going to be the tubular paper sections that we make. The white dots are what are called the nodes, or the connections, and this is where the nuts and bolts are going to go through the holes in the paper to connect each of the paper tubes together. You'll notice that this dimensions are all in millimetres, and there's one that's quite useful, which is 297 millimetres, and that's the long length of an A4 piece of paper. If you use centimetres, then make sure you understand how to change millimetres into centimetres and make sure you can read them off the rulers that are provided. Here you can see an expanded view of the bridge drawing, showing the bolt locations or the node locations and the dimensions of the sections. Make sure you measure the sections properly before you cut them and always write on the tube what size it is once it's been cut. So the rule in the tubes is rather straightforward. You just need to keep them very tight to the dowel and make sure you put the tape half on and half off, sticky side up, before you start rolling. So this short video is going to show you how to make the tubes. Pay attention to what I point at and make sure that you have the tape sticky side up facing you before you start rolling.
So that's all. Thanks for paying attention and I'll look forward to seeing some photographs of your bridges when they're finished.